All right, joining me once again here on the Matthew Filipovich Show is my good friend, Katie Halper. Katie is a stand-up comedian, a satirist, a blogger, a filmmaker. She is a uh, co-founder of uh, Laughing Liberally. Her work has appeared in the New York Times, The Nation, Huffington Post, Comedy Central, Jezebel, Feministing, many, many more, all of which and more you can find at katiehalper.com. Katie, thank you so much for being on the show again. Thanks for having me. And also, my new, my latest endeavor is a show called Morning Jew, which is very. Oh right, the, the the video, the video uh, podcast, exactly. or Vi- so, podcast, so, so, actually, let's, let's yeah, so, so actually, we'll, let's start a real, Tell us about that because I I've watched one episode, but tell us how, how that came about and what exactly sure. it is. One episode? You mean you weren't hooked and unable to to leave after watching one and didn't watch actually, every single one afterwards? I, I watched it. one today. Is what I'm oh. saying when I was looking at your website. Nice. So. <laughs> You're like I watched one. <laughs> This hour, yes. I have seen one before in the hour before. I try to, I try to watch the entire. You try to watch the entire series every day, right? I could have, I could have watched more, but then I wouldn't be talking to you right exactly. now. Exactly, I understand. <laughs> um, it, this actually started. In, it was the uh, brainchild of Heather Gold, who's a comedian who I perform mm-hmm. with, and who's also a um, progressive like myself and uh, she's she's kind of like me but we're both kind of storytellers she does a lot of one woman shows um so we both do stand up and comedy and she's also kind of techy and geeky although we're really bad with tech stuff in fact we want to do have a special called like watching jews do st- things watch <laughs> jews do techy things where we have jews like try to set up wi-fi or even just put, assemble an ikea table um <laughs> i think that'd be cool um, and it's, and so she, she came up with the name of Morning Jew, which is, was waiting, like a, a joke waiting to happen, I think, you know, because of the Morning Joe reference. Right. Um, and, um. Well, Morning Joe's sponsored by Starbucks. Have you guys gotten a sponsor yet? Or, or are you no, going for, is there, is there Manish- something that would be a good sponsor? Like Manish, a Manischewitz brand or something. <laughs> Hebrew. Um, <laughs> that beer Hebrew, I don't know. But basically, we go through the headlines, and we look at whether or not they're good for the Jews. Um, It's kind of a reference to the self-obsessed nature that some Jews tend to display. So last week, we looked at uh, Kristallnacht, um, the Grammys, um, and... um, uh, oh, I De- Denmark and the decision to burn to ban circumcision. That was a big controversial one for me and Heather. Mm-hmm. Um, how did that? How did the, what, controversial? How so? What, what well, was what was controversial? Well, we had a big fight, which we haven't resolved yet, and we need to mm. to figure this out. But over whether or not there are health reasons um, behind circumcision. Mm-hmm. Um, and I thought that there were, even though I don't think they're valid anymore. Um, that was always I, I actually I've heard that they're not valid, but they people think that it's valid, but it's actually mostly mostly not from right. what I've what I've But I, my thing is whether it was. I kind of say I still think in the aggregate, like like this is so funny we're talking about this, but I probably should do some <laughs> research on this before I make my name on on radio and and uh, video as a circumcision pundit. But um, <laughs> right, what what'd you say? America's leading circumcision pundit, yeah. Katie Halper. Pundit, yeah. um, <laughs> I, apparently, there are like uh, apparently there's a lot of data from World War One. So if you're living mm-hmm. in trenches, it is less healthy to be uncircumcised. So obviously, I would like to think that my kid will not be living in trench-like conditions, um, mm-hmm. and I probably wouldn't circumcise my son. But um, I, I think it's a lot. Of, a lot of like, if if you were regularly being regularly cleaning yourself, right. it, there's not there's not a problem there. But if you're if you're constantly dirty and not having the opportunity to be clean, that's right. where potentially bad things can can come about. Right. Exactly. Right. And mm-hmm. apparently, in the and STDs can be spread more frequently. Right. Um, but I'm trying to see if we got any hate mail. We did last time. Yeah. We got some hate mail from someone, which is always fun. Um, but this time it was more just about being stupid about circumcision. But I, I've, we got some hate mail about some people who call, who both, they simultaneously called us like fake Jews, fake Hebrews, because we weren't dark enough. Hmm. Um, so at first I thought that, that they were, oh no, this is what it was. Someone said, why are they white? This isn't the look of a Hebrew. Oh, I forgot. They're fake Jews. So first I thought it was some, like, intense Hebrew, Israeli Jew calling us out for being too assimilated or Ashkenazi or something. Um, uh-huh. 
but then he says, um, uh, the concentration camp was the best thing that thing ever happened to Jews. They killed the last good thing they ever had. Ooh, mm, damn. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah, that uh, sounds like a, a nice human being. He sounds like yeah. a, a, he sounds like a sweetheart. Yeah, he is. He sounds like a mensch, what we would like to call a mensch. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, so it's weird. It's like he's attacking us as like being fake Jews and then also being an anti-Semite. Actually, I, I've often wanted to r- run a seminar called How to Be a More Effective Anti-Semite because um, <laughs> once I got this letter from someone, I wrote this joking thing that uh, on, on Christmas that Gentiles should, instead of sending their friends happy Hanukkah cards on Hanukkah they should just wait till Christmas and then send them thank you cards for having Jesus since you Uh know he's a Jew and it was Mary who slept from in to in you know and (laughs) popped him out of her Zoftic hips or whatever and someone wrote a comment thank you for what for being stupid for walking to the slaughter like uh, lambs next and then and then ended it with um, next ovens next time real ovens and I wanted to be like, okay, so you have a lot of different strains in this uh, argument against Jews, and let's try right. to take out the best ones, and let's also try to be consistent. So, for instance, calling us stupid, not effective. It's not going to stick, right? Because if anything, mm-hmm. we're wily, we're smart, um, we're calculating, we, we're smart enough to run the world, right? So you're going to want to get rid of the <laughs> stupid thing. It's just not an effect. It's, it doesn't have legs. It doesn't have any legs. Then yeah. you can't both say that we went to sheep, went to our our slaughter like lambs, um, and then say next time real oven. So you're you're going to want to pick a side. You're either a Holocaust denier, denier, mm-hmm. or you're you want to present us as you know, effeminate, weak, and uh, pathetic for having been killed by in, in massive numbers. Um, that is very inconsistent. Absolutely. Yeah. So I think mm-hmm. you know I'm just trying to help these people make a stronger point. Yeah, yeah. If there is a, a problem with anti-Semites, it really is their their lack of, of consistency. Yeah, that's what I think. So. That's what I think. I just want some consistency, some internal logic, some coherence. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, if you're going to be hateful, you might as well do it in the most smart and effective way. Right. 